everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. So I'm out here in our back garden area that we just got prepared the other day and I've been busy planting a bunch of seeds and a bunch of cool weather crops. And I thought today that I would focus on some transplants that I'm going to be doing. So I am gonna be transplanting some broccoli starts that I got from our local nursery the other day. I picked up two of them. These are the Destiny broccoli variety type that I picked up. That was just what they had. Um, I usually don't really have a big preference on broccoli, um, just whether it gives a head or if it's sprouting broccoli. Um, actually, I really like the sprouting broccoli type um, just because I love the leaves on the broccoli. Um, we actually discovered that by accident. Um, we had a really, really bad hailstorm one time when we had a, just a bunch of broccolis, um, broccoli plants out um, that weren't quite ready to harvest yet because they didn't have their full head, um, but they all got destroyed by the this really bad hail that we had. Um, so we started researching, well, could we do anything with the leaves? And we discovered that the leaves are actually just as good as the broccoli itself. So um, we started using that, um, I mean, in the stir fries, um, I mean, so many different options you can use broccoli leaves with, and it tastes really good. You'd be surprised. So that was something that I didn't know until we had that issue come up. So um, I actually prefer to do the sprouting broccoli types now, but I like to do a little bit of both just so that way we have like some of the big heads of broccoli and then also some sprouting broccoli that we have like the littler heads of broccoli with the leaves too. So broccoli is a really good cool season plant. Um, so it'll tolerate the cold really well. Um, it'll do good even if you have a freeze coming. Um, broccoli has been known to tolerate that well as, as well. Um, it does not do good in the heat though. So in our area, I actually prefer to, again, grow these in the fall. So that way we, uh, you know, they, they'll last a little bit longer. We'll have more, we'll have broccoli for longer. So broccoli is something that's super nutritious to add into your diet and especially if you grow it yourself you know exactly what you do in the garden um, we like to keep everything all organic we don't um, use any pesticides or anything like that so that way we know exactly what it is we're eating whether you eat broccoli cooked or raw or however you want to prepare it it is still super good for you it has a lot of vitamin c a lot of fiber vitamin k um, i mean you name it it is just loaded with with vitamins it is super healthy for you. Um, if you haven't checked out our app yet, make sure you check that out because it, it'll list out everything that, um, like all the different health benefits of broccoli too and different health conditions that it's good for. So check that out. So it is too late to start broccolis in our area by seed. So that's why I went ahead and got transplant. Um, you could still do like some seeds if you wanted to do sprouting broccoli or grow it for like microgreens. So if you're growing more for the leaves instead of the whole head of broccoli, you still have time to start some seeds now. But we went ahead and got some transplants so that way we had some time to grow a full head before the full winter sets in for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and transplant this broccoli into one of our smart pots. If you have at least a 10 gallon size smart pot, um, that would work perfect for this type of broccoli and it, cause it'll, it'll need plenty of room to grow and get large and grow that entire huge head of broccoli. So I'll see if you can kind of look down again and see. Okay, so I'm going to transplant into this smart pot right here. And I already went through and um, with my soil knife and cleaned it out because um, there were a lot of really large roots from the previous plant that were in that was in here. So I just came in here and broke up the soil a little bit and added some fresh compost just to get it ready for the new growing season. And then transplanting is always so much easier for me. So you just want to take it out and if they are root bound like this you just want to make sure you go in and you just break up the sides so that way the roots will be moving and spreading out and taking over this entire pot and it'll be a healthier plant if you go through and break up the roots really well um, so i'm going to go ahead and do that break that up and then i'm going to put it right here in the middle Sorry, it's right in the morning, so all the roosters are alarming. Making everybody get up in the morning. <laughs> okay, that's all there is to it. So now I'm just gonna go 
um, grab the garden hose and get this watered in. And I'll keep it moist, especially for the first several days, just while it establishes itself. And then you can go through and start letting, letting go, um, backing off on some of the watering that you're doing. I went ahead and labeled my broccoli plant with a popsicle stick and a Sharpie. Let's just keep it simple and then put it in here. You're good to go. Broccoli does best whenever it is in the full sun area. So um, I, that's why I love putting these in smart pots too, because I can move it around if I want to. But I'm just finding a nice sunny spot that we have in our garden, and I'm gonna leave the smart pot there. So since broccoli is something that you grow to the full size to the head, it's gonna take a little bit longer to harvest it. So it's gonna take like two to three months or so um, until you have your huge head of broccoli. But if you do more of the sprouting broccoli or the broccoli for leaves, it'll be a lot faster and you can start harvesting within like a month or two. So thank you so much for watching today and uh, hanging out while we planted some transplants of broccoli. Uh, if you haven't already, please check out our free app. It's available for download at the iOS and the Android stores, and it will help walk you through how to grow over 100 different fruits, vegetables, herbs, including broccoli. So it'll give you exact planting dates based on the predicted freezes from your local weather station, and it'll give you exact planting dates for your location. So it takes the guesswork out of that. Um, so go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.